Welcome, time for some art fun. Today, we're going to look at all my inks, so stick around. I was already planning on doing a humongous ink review, but then after I did my most recent no budget shopping spree 40th birthday haul, ooh, just still get so happy thinking about it. <laughs> Um, I actually got a comment from one of you saying that you wanted an ink review. Let's get into it. This is a dot grid journal from Dingbats. It's a vegan leather cover, faux leather cover with a whale. And the back of this has my ink review stuff. So we're going to look at this when we get to each color. I'll show you my samples. I'll show it's just really good paper for fountain pens. I actually got this little ink bottle paperclip from the Birmingham Pen Co. in Pittsburgh. When you order their inks, they send you a little clip. Some are in the shape of a fountain pen and some are in the shape of ink bottles. And I got the ink bottle one. So I use that to sort of clip where my ink journal is. So that's what we'll be looking at when we look at each ink. I also have these swatch cards that I made for a lot of my inks. I don't have one for every single ink. So maybe we'll make some today. Let's do that together. That'll be fun. Okay. The reason that I keep my inks in a shoe box, and yes, that is a shoe box <laughs> from a pair of boots that I got a while ago, is just to keep the sun from them. You don't want to leave your ink as beautiful as they are. I mean, obviously I'd love to keep my ink bottles out on my desk just for decor. They're so pretty. Um, but you don't want them just sitting exposed to the sunlight. The Sailor... Shikiori Yodaki. I got it in April of 2021. It was $15 for a 20 milliliter bottle. And I always do some script. I do the date, the cost, the size, and then I do a splatter. And it pools, it has green sheen. So let's take a look at this one. This is the bottle. It's so pretty. And the color probably isn't going to come across. Maybe if I hold it up in the light. Yeah, look at the edges. Such a beautiful color. It means summer bonfire. And that is really what I get out of it. So that's what it looks like in mass tone. And then watered out. And that was with a flex tip pen. Where you can kind of get thicker and thinner lines. I just think this is a gorgeous color. This is one that I will always have. I will always refill this because I just love how it looks in my Noodler's Ahab Flex Pen. It just looks so beautiful. So I love that one. We have next. We have another Sailor ink. It's the Sailor Shikiori Yamadori. And this one is really popular. And I bet you can see why. It is so pretty. I got it also in April, also $15 for 20 mil. And that is the card. It is a gorgeous greenish blue color. Do you see the reddish pinky areas where it pools? And that one just looks beautiful when you hit it with a wet brush. So I love painting with that one. I love writing with that one. This is one of my favorite colors. And I have a lot of colors that sort of sit in this universe just because I love these colors so much that I get them over and over. So unlike the Yodaki, this isn't one where I have nothing else like it and I have to always have this exact one in my collection. There are a lot of other ones that do what this does, but this is a stunning color. And again, that's the bottle. Ooh, that's pretty. Next is this beautiful Lamy Azurite. And I think you can see that magical green sheen that it has. Look at that green sheen. I actually prefer painting with this than writing with it because of that effect. You really don't get that even in a broad nib. You get a lot of beautiful shading in a broad nib, but you don't get that insane sheen unless you're just painting with it. And I, I couldn't help myself. I did a little like witchy bottle because I thought that's what this color makes me think of. It's like literal magic. And that's the little card. And it is stunning when you get it. And this is the bottle. And I have to say for this one, if you open the bottle, look at that color. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh. And look how much I've used. I don't know if you can even see, but I've used a lot and you can't really see the sheen, but that purple is just, look at that purple is so pretty. It's just a gorgeous, purple. 
Next is this Monteverde 2019 DC Super Show Teal. And I got it in April 2021 for $8 for 30 mil. And it has this beautiful red sheen. It is a very shading. Look at the shading even in that writing. Shading is just where it goes from dark to light in the same. See, that's really, you can really see it there. That's shading and that is sheen where it sheens red. It's really pretty, beautiful color, very light. I didn't order this one. I ordered the California teal and they sent me this one and it's different enough from the California teal that I kept them both. Hammings, yeah, see? So one is a really bluish, one is really green. You get a lot of ink from Monteverde. It's very affordable and I've had nothing but good experiences with their inks and they do ship them pretty well. They really wrap them tight, so. Next is Monteverde Garnet, also $8 for 30 mil. I did this writing sample, I, I wrote the name in a flex pen. So it was just very concentrated, but you can see a little shading at the top of the letters. This one um, shades beautifully in a flex pen. This didn't even show it off to its full potential, but it doesn't really shade in a stub nib. It shades a little bit in a broad nib, but I like it best by far in one of those. And then that is the swatch card on a watercolor paper. Just a very pure magenta. The Monteverdes pretty much all have this bottle shape. It's just the labels are different for different lines. Next is my Diamine Aurora Borealis. This was a specialty ink from Diamine where they made it based on their Reddit people, their Reddit people suggested this color and they just made it into a permanent color. It sheens red. It's very similar to the Shikiori uh, Yamadori, it, except it's really affordable. It's $16 for 80 mil. And this is the card. And you can see the sheen there. It shades beautifully. Look at the shading on that writing. I love to stick this in a flex pen, but mostly in a broad nib. Broad nibs love this. Stub nibs love this. It's a very wet writer. I love this ink. It's beautiful to paint with. Love it. That's what the 80 mil bottle looks like. Let's see if we can get you some color. There you go. Beautiful. This is one of my absolute favorites. It's Rohrer and Klingner Alt Gold Grun, which means old gold green, I believe in German. I think it's a German brand. And it is stunning. Honing. It is so pretty. I mean, look at the splatter, that shading, the shading. Okay, this is definitely one where I dedicate a Noodler's Ahab Flex Pen just to this ink because of how beautifully it shades. It was only $12.50 for 50 mil. I got it in March. It was one of the first fountain pen inks I got. I was very interested in fountain pen ink because of Peter Draws here on YouTube. Peter Draws loves fountain pens, did a lot of fountain pen videos that got me down the full rabbit hole of drawing with fountain pen ink. Oop. But once you're drawing with fountain pen ink, you kind of start to want to write with fountain pen ink. And that's what happened to me because it just looks like you're painting when you're writing. That's as close to paint writing as I could imagine. I love this color. That man, that is a stunning color and super affordable. These are two of the most affordable bottles. You can get these two bottles and you have so much ink to play with. That's what the bottle looks like for the Roarer and Klingner. Next up is Ocean Noir from Monteverde also. April 2021, $8 for 30 mil. And this one also has some pretty nice shading, a little bit in the top of the writing and definitely in the little swatch. There's also some red sheening where it pools. Now, I just didn't like how dark it was. I like my shading a little bit more obvious, so I definitely don't use this as much. I actually um, tried to use it up because I feel guilty if I don't use up an ink, and it's almost gone just from me deciding I wanna use it up because I don't look forward to using it. <laughs> Isn't that funny that I use the ones I don't love before I use the ones I do? But anyway, that's how it is for me. Talking about ones I do love, this is it. This is one of my favorite inks I own, Monteverde Fire Opal. It is very similar to Copper Noir. I You only need one. I have both, but I love the color so much. I don't mind. I'm going to use them both up. But when I need to get more, I'll just get whichever's on sale. I love this ink. Again, $8 for 30 mil. Look at that beautiful color. Oh, I love this color. It makes me so happy. Look at the shading. Oh, ho, ho, the shading is so beautiful. So that is the card. And that's the bottle. 
Let's see if we can get a color for you. Yeah, ooh, look at that. I mean, it's like on fire. So this is one I wouldn't live without. This, Alt Gold Grun, some version of the Aurora Borealis, and uh, the Sailor Shikiori Yamadori, or yo, sorry, Yodaki. <laughs> Monteverde Green is one I got in April as well for $10. I got 30 ml, same size bottle as we've been looking at. And it's a beautiful green, and it certainly shades nicely, and I was very excited to get it. But when I got Private Reserve Sherwood Green for $15 for $60, so it's less expensive, and I saw the sheen that this has, I was in love. That bright red sheen, but also that shading, and it's such a wet ink. So I'm not even going to waste my time showing you the Monteverde because this private reserve blew it out of the water. See that sheen? Ooh, so pretty. And then this is what the bottle looks like. It's huge. So I love that ink. Capri Blue from Monteverde is next. Also got it in April, $8 for 30 mil, as with all the other ones. And I love the shading in this color. This one also has a red sheen when you get a bunch down probably see it there too it is just a gorgeous color it makes me so happy it's just a really beautiful pure blue if i'm gonna write with a blue that's the blue just pure blue that's the one i'm gonna pick it's so pretty here is the card see that's a bold nib a broad nib and look at that beautiful shading and it really did a good job of accumulating in the mass tone the pink it has kind of a pink sheen beautiful color and there's the bottle. Let's see if we can get it to shine for you. There you go. Beautiful. You remember Monteverde Fire Opal, and I said it's extremely similar to Copper Noir. Tell me you can even see a difference. <laughs> They're just both these beautiful coppery, orangey, browny, reddish. I mean, Fire Opal's a, got a little bit more of a darkness in the mass tone, obviously. But in the light tones, I really can't see a difference. So I really think you only need one. I do think I like Fire Opal a little bit better, but I love them both. I definitely don't mind that I got this one. And here is my little writing sample. I loved it so much. This one got a little bottle too. You know I love the ink if I do a little bottle. <laughs> so I just want to play with it immediately. But look at that. That is in a flex nib. And it is just gorgeous. I love that color. The next one is the Birmingham Ink voltaic arc the thing that's special about this is that sheen do you see that it just sheens like a monster it's a monster sheener yeah Ooh, look at that i mean that's a blue ink that's a a turquoise blue ink with a bright pink sheen but because it's so dark in the writing i don't love how it writes so that's why i kind of mix this with that dc super show teal and get a lighter version that I just love to write with. And that's what the bottle looks like. This is definitely one of the most beautiful bottles. This is that Birmingham Penco. This is a really beautiful feeling label. And it's a beautiful ink. It's just, it was too dark for me. But once I was on that kick, I also got the Birmingham, look at that. So that's a sheen, people. If you're wondering what sheen looks like, this is also Birmingham Penco. That's Tesla Coil. And basically, if you look at it in different lights, it's a totally different color because it sheens so hard. So that is Tesla Coil. Everything in their line is named after something Pittsburgh related. And this one was $11 for 30 mil. So a little bit more expensive. Again, a little too dark for me and how it writes, but I love writing in a broad nib because you do get that beautiful sheen. It's this one. And I do have that. Um, I already showed you the card. I also got just a sample from Goulet Pens of this Henry David Thoreau from Organic Studios. It was $2 for a sample. It definitely shades in this broad nib and it sheens, but again, it was just too dark and it was too similar to the ones I already had. Next one is Diamine Honey Burst. This was just highly recommended. It's another giant one. It was $19 for 80 mil. And I just think it really does. It looks like honey. It looks like you're writing with honey. I love painting with this one. This is a great painter that is um, a flex nib that you're seeing the writing in that shows that shading. It doesn't really sheen. It just shades. That's the card. And that's the bottle. 
Next was Diamine Tulip. It's a beautiful shading red, but it's just, you know, a red ink. If you need to grade papers or anything like that, it was only $6.20 for a 20 mil bottle. But I, it was another one where I just didn't love writing with it because it was just, you know, just a red ink. And I'm not grading papers. I'm trying to play and basically paint when I write. <laughs> I feel like my writing is painting. Um, and this didn't really do it for me. So I didn't really keep that one. That was one I tried to use up as quickly as I could and it's gone. But that's what the bottle looks like if you get a 20 mil from Diamine. That's what it's going to look like. That's what the tulip looked like when I had it. Now we're into another one of my absolute favorite inks. It got really messy. It looks like I bled on it because the Diamine tulip crossed over <laughs> and messed with it. But it was $16 for a 62 and a half mil bottle for this cross violet. I actually think that this swatch is a better representation of the color. It is this beautiful, beautiful purple. Very different from the dark purple from the Lamy. Hopefully you can see how different those are and really see in the writing when this shades. This is a prettier writer. This is a prettier painter. So whatever you're into. The gorgeous cross violet bottle. It's really fancy. This is my other Rohrer and Klingner bottle. This is Cassia. It sheens green just like the Azurite, but the actual color is like the cross violet. So this is a best of both worlds inks. If I could have done it again, I, I just would have gotten this one. I wouldn't have gotten the cross or the Lamy. And that tells you something because you know I love those colors. And that is what it looks like. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you can totally see the green sheen. And it does shade when you write with it. So it's exciting to write with. It's exciting to paint with. I love this ink. Would not want to live without this ink. My next one is Diamine Evergreen. This is another one where I love to paint with it. Don't love to write with it. It just writes too dark as you can see there. But look at this color if you just consider it for painting. Oh, look at that sheen. I mean, come on, that's a stunning dark olive color. It's beautiful. It works beautifully with the light. So gold grun. Wow, what's wrong with me? And this is the bottle for Diamine Evergreen. This is just a little boy, little guy. Paint with it all the time. This is Diamine Bougainvillea, Bougainvillea, the flower. Look at that sheen. It's got this like lime green sheen. This was so cheap. I know I didn't write down how much it was. I got it on eBay for like $4. Crazy in June. It is a beautiful bright pink, like hot pink, opera pink for painting or for writing. It is just, ooh, just a super hot pink. Beautiful writer. I love writing with it. It shades, it sheens. It's stunning. Like I just love this color. That's the bottle. Sort of on a purple mission because Lamy wasn't a great writer for me. The Lamy Azurite wasn't a beautiful writer as much as it was painter. And I just wanted a darker purple writer. And I loved Cross Violet, but that's like a lighter purple. And I got Mambato's hat because people said it would be so gorgeous. And I have to say, it's still too dark for me. I really like it in a broad nib, but it's just too dark. That's how it looks. So unless if you want a dark, super legible, like you're into ink to just write and you want it to be, you want people to think, oh, is that black or is there something else going on? This is a great one for that. Evergreen's a great one for that. Azurite's a great one for that, where you're not sure if it's purple or black or if you're not sure if it's green or black you don't know if it's a color or if it's just black these are great for that but i don't really love that so i'll mostly paint with this i don't want to write with it i'm kind of just realized i didn't show you the copper noir so that's the copper noir bottle again they don't really put a ton of effort into the bottles like that's that stickers off center <laughs> that would might annoy some people it doesn't bother me at all because the color ooh, that color is stunning ooh. Reason, the reason I remembered that I hadn't shown you that is because this is the next one, California Teal Ink in that same bottle. There's the swatch. Again, I think we've really already looked at this, so I'm not gonna go too crazy. Writing sample. I got it in August, $3, or $8 for 30 mil. Look at that shading. Ooh, I love writing with this. I wrote with this all December for Christmas because it's, look at that red and green. Okay, that really shows the red and green sheen. Is that not like the most Christmas color? Next, we have another private reserve. It's a giant 60 mil bottle. It was only $15. It shades so pretty. It has a little bit of a sheen there, 
but really it's just that it shades so beautifully when it writes. And that's what that bottle looks like. This was actually a free gift on Goulet pens with um, a pen that I bought, a beautiful Monteverde pen that I bought. This came as a free gift, love it. Krishna Goldfish Gold is next. I got it for my birthday in December, just a little free sample. It does sheen a lighter bright gold yellow. That's why I think it's called Goldfish Gold. It's a beautiful shader, but I couldn't buy the actual ink because they didn't have it. They just had enough to give me a sample. So that's beautiful. And that is really fun to paint with. I made a red panda with this and with the Brandy Dazzle. Brandy Dazzle is, oh, stunning. I've been wanting this for so long. Look at that. Look at, look at that shimmer. It's a shimmer ink. I also got it in December for my 40th birthday. It was $13.50 for a 50 mil jar. And I'm telling you when I write with this, I made a comment somewhere on a Goulet Pens podcast that it makes me feel like the ink equivalent of wearing high heels. To me, that's the ink equivalent of wearing high heels. The Brandy Dazzle. Oof, I love it. And the giant bottle. Again, Diamine is such a deal. We're doing Diamine. We might as well do the Holly. This is a sheener. Look at that pinkish reddish sheen. Very similar to California Teal. I don't think you need both now that I see them. But the Holly is just very special. It's a Diamine ink vent ink and it really does sheen crazy in the writing and it's this cute little ink vent bottle isn't that so cute it's a sheener it's a high sheener the next one i got for my birthday is lamy amazonite and it is oof stunning it's another one with a pink sheen but it's a shader. Look at that shading, OMG. I love this one. I've been writing with it nonstop and a super broad Twisby nib is just like gushes ink and that's what I like, especially with one that shades so beautifully. And that's the bottle. Beautiful little rounded triangle bottle. Is this Colorverse, December 7th, 1787, but it's also known as Colorverse of Delaware. I made a mess of this writing because I had filled a flex nib and it was just too wet. The ink was so wet, it was just like falling out everywhere. That's why you can see all these dots. Wherever I stopped, got like a huge dot because the ink would just pool, because it's so crazy. But look at the ink in the mass tone. Wouldn't you wanna paint with that? That is beautiful. It's like a seafoam green. So it's not the most legible in writing, but I don't mind a shading over legibility. And that's just me, because again, I'm not writing to be in a ledger, I'm not writing the constitution, I wanna write in my journal and enjoy the process of writing and I enjoy looking at ink when it does that. So pretty, and that's the bottle. Quickly, because it's not like a super fun or exciting one, but this platinum, platinum carbon ink is my permanent black ink. So this is what I use all the time. You probably see this in most of my videos. You see this in more of my videos than anything else. It's in this fountain pen and I sketch with it. These are my can't live without inks. In, and you know, the platinum carbon too, that, to me that's a given that I need a permanent black ink, but it's not exciting. From the exciting inks, the pretty inks, these are my die hard, will never go without inks. Diamine Aurora Borealis or something like it. So like the Monteverde DC Super Show teal or the Lamy Amazonite would take that place. The uh, Sher Sherwood Forest Green, the Monteverde green basically <laughs> could take the place of that, but a dark green or California teal, it also does that. The Alt Gold Grun, nothing takes the place of that. That's a once in a lifetimer, can't find it anywhere else. Monteverde Fire Opal, only Copper Noir and Fire Opal have looked like that to me. Sailor Shikiori Yodaki, nothing else looks like that. Rur and Klingner Cassia, perfect blend of a bunch of other purples and man did I explore purples and that's the best one. And then the Bougainvillea. I, I hope I'm saying that right. I feel like that's one of those words I'm really not saying right. Just such a beautiful color. So these, and I would have been good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven inks have really covered me and I just wanted to really explore. So I did, you know, <laughs> a lot more, a lot more than just seven. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to probably insert a quick little swatching session to create these cards for the one, two, three, four, five inks that I don't have them for. Until next time, remember, Create something cute.